The main cause for low oxygen levels in the dead zone can be traced directly to upstream polluters. While there are several sources of nitrate and phosphorus pollution that can be linked to the 12 states making up the Mississippi River Basin, agriculture typically gets the black eye. In order to keep the federal government out of the nation's farm fields, a bridge of sorts is being built between agriculture and Capitol Hill. Many states have plans to reduce nitrogen and phosphorus runoff, but only Iowa has taken the next step by establishing its own nutrient reduction strategy. The plan caught the eye of Environmental Protection Agency Region 7 Administrator Carl Brooks. In fact, it's important to emphasize in Iowa that the state's nutrient reduction plan has checked off more boxes than any other of its states in the Mississippi Basin right now. One good thing about the Iowa plan is that instead of just running around corner to corner in the state, scattering money all over, there was a real focus on priority watersheds, ones where we know there's been nitrogen and phosphorus loading that's too high, ones that have real erodible soils, and ones where we know we can make a difference early on. Brooks, Iowa Department of Natural Resources Director Chuck Gipp, and Iowa Secretary of Agriculture Bill Northey took their show on the road this week, spending time talking to journalists and certified crop advisors. We need to show momentum. We need to show that people are engaged. And I think engaged in a way that is very different different than what would happen in a regulatory environment. In a regulatory environment, we'd fight about it in court for as long as we could, and we fight about the rules for as long as we could, and then we'd tell farmers what to do, and all they'd care about is complying. They wouldn't care about water quality. They'd worry about staying legal with the government. In its initial year, Iowa's nutrient reduction strategy handed out $2.8 million in matching funds to a little more than 1% of the state's 90,000 farmers. The money will be used to plant cover crops, install bioreactors, and build wetlands. Scientists will collect data and use it to demonstrate that it is possible to clean up waterways while cutting on farm expenses. The goal is a 45% reduction in the amount of nitrogen and phosphorus washing into thousands of miles of Midwestern waterways every year. Because it's their pond, it's their stream. Uh, it's a little bit distant to say how that impacts the Gulf of Mexico because Iowans are a long way from Louisiana. But it's important to know that this also improves their own local water bodies out there because people want clean water. Uh, water quality is a big concern across Iowa and across the nation right now. And so we need to get people to understand that they can be a part of solving this issue by being careful about what they do on their own property. There are, however, those who believe the hand of government is the only means by which farmers will reduce nutrient runoff. You fix it by, first of all, admitting that it's a problem, and you throw to the side the idea that self-regulation or voluntarism is going to improve it in any meaningful way in an acceptable time period. So you have to start Bill Stowe is the CEO of Des Moines Waterworks, a municipal agency providing drinking water for half a million central Iowans. Last year, after attempting to mix water from several sources to comply with EPA nitrate regulations, Stowe was forced to turn on the world's largest nitrate removal system, costing taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars. It had been six years since the system was last put into use. While Stowe has threatened legal action to get the EPA to enforce standards outlined in the Clean Water Act, Brooks believes an environment of volunteerism is a better choice than government legislation. We've been a constructive player. I think this agency is viewed as somebody that is constructive and engaged instead of threatening and standing outside the room with a club in our hand waiting to come in and start laying waste to Iowa. That's not how we see our job at all.